welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to explaining a different kind of operations it will be carried on to a lathe machines so let us start with the first operation and that will be called as a centering so as you can see into the diagram here it will be the chuck so either the three jaw chuck or four jaw chuck is being used to holding a workpiece or you can say job into the lathe machine so three jaw chuck or four jaw chuck depends upon your shape and size of the job basically in most of the cases that will be the three jaw chucks and that will be called as a self centering chuck so three jaw chuck is being used to hold a job or you can say workpiece so by the rotation of the chuck that will be having a sum of the rpm or you can say rotational movement of the chuck so you can say that rotational movement so on another end of to the lathe machines that will be the drill chuck and that will be attached into the tail stock so for making a centering hole into the jaw so and the uh, another end into the drill chuck that will be attachment of a center drill so here it will be the central drill or you can say tool is being used for making a hole so just you can see for the centering operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines so for producing a conical shape hole so by the providing a feed into this directions and that job it will be rotated so you can make the hole or you can say conical hole over here so for producing conical hole into the work piece when the work is required to be turned between the centers or you can say chuck and to the centers or you can say tail stocks so what happen the center holes are produced by using the center drills or you can say counter sunk tool so it depends upon requirement of the hole first that will be making by the drill if you want to enlarging the diameter so that will be the bore tool or you can say boring tool is being used for enlarging diameter of the Hole. so that will be the feed direction and that will be the rotation to producing a hole into the jaw so that will be all about the centering operations second operations turning operations so turning that will be the most common or you can say general operations it will be carried out onto the lathe machines to making an external cylindrical surfaces are generated so as shown into the figure just you can see for the turning operation the workpiece is being rotated into the chuck and the tool that will be feed against the rotating workpiece or you can say the feed is parallel to the axis of the rotations so that will be the axis of the rotation of the workpiece and that will be the parallel feed that will be applied so into this direction that will be called as a feed and into this directions that will be called as a depth of cut so by the turning operations the diameter d1 that will be reduced into the d2 so for the basically in the case of the turning operations that will be reducing the diameter or you can say reduce the diameter so basically what happened the during this operations the cutting tool that will be continuously removing the material from its circumference so that will be just you can see it will be the circumference of the workpiece and by applying the feed and depth of cut with the speed of your workpiece so what happened the material removal rate it will be in the form of chips so if it will be the duct 
tile material so that will be making an continuous chips if that will be the brittle material so that will be making a discontinuous chips so basically two types of chips that already explained in my previous lectures so by the turning operations you can reduce in the diameter so what happens the rub timing is the operation of the removing of the excess materials stocks rapidly while finish turning is operations of the machining of the workpiece to the required dimensions within the tolerance limit so according to my requirement of this diameter so that will be the diameter of raw materials and that will be the diameter of finished products so according to this requirements i would like to plan which kind of feed and depth of cut is being appropriate to converting that diameter from d1 to d2 by the turning operations next operation and there will be the third number facing onto the lathe machines so similarly chuck is being used for holding the work piece and that should be rotated and the cutting tool that will be hold into the tool post so by the application of the feed so in the case of the facing in this direction you can say the perpendicular direction to the axis of the rotations so that will be the axis of rotation and that will be the direction so you can say that will be the feed so in the case of the facing operations the machining of the end of the work piece so that will be the one of the end of the work piece to produce a flat surface so that will be producing a flat surface at the end of the work piece so basically in the case of the facings that will be reducing the length of the job so you can see that reducing length of job by making a flat surfaces so that will be all regarding to the facing operations after the facing operations that will be need to performing the chamfering operations so similar kind of arrangement as we discuss into the facings the job is fitted onto the chuck so that will be our work piece and that will be the tail stock so that will be providing the support to the job or you can say work piece and here it will be the tool and that will be the direction of the feed in case of the chamfering operations so basically the chamfering is the operations of bevelling the extreme end of the work piece so that will be some kind of tapering sections or it will be it will be onto the end of the work piece so what happens by these operations the sharpness of the end of the edges so by the making a flat surface by the facing operations it will be making a sharp edges so what happens so these sharp edges of the end of the edges and burrs are removed and it gives the better look so that will be also increasing a better look so chamfering is an essential after the thread cutting for easy assembly of the threaded work piece with the nut so that will be the necessary operations of the lathe machine next operations and that will be knurling so just you can see the figure this one is the chuck which will be hold the work piece so that will be our work piece material and it will be having a rotation as we already discussing but this operations it will be carried out by the application of knurling tool so here that will be the knurling tool so this tool or you can say that will be into the rotational form 
so by the application of the pressing of this tool with rotating against the workpiece material so this one is it will be rotated so what happens so knurling it will be the categorize of a metal forming operations so you can say that that will be the forming operation so there are no material removal rate so just the change the shape of the products so it is the process of embossing a diamond shape pattern onto the surface of the workpiece so such kind of diamond shape pattern so you can write down like diamond shape patterns it will be embossed onto the workpiece so an earning tool consists of two hardened steels or you can say steel rollers so that will be called as a steel rollers that will be hardened steel so hardening process that will be carried out onto the steel so that will be having enough property to converting permanent deformation of the workpiece materials so in that roller what happened so that will be having a some inclinations at a 45 degree so to the horizontal so both the rollers are mounted on a rotating head and which allows the roller to exert the equal pressure so by the pressings that will be having a exerting the equal pressures as they are pressed against the rotating of the workpiece so this one is the rotating of the workpiece and this that will be hold into the tool post so the knurled surface of the workpiece is shown into the figure and the purpose of the knurling is to provide an effective gripping so for the gripping purpose so that will be carried out a knurling operations so that will be all regarding for the knurling operation next operation and that will be grooving operations so basically here three kind of figures or three kind of groove tool is being used to converting our raw material into desired shape and size so first one that will be a square groove second one that will be the round groove and third one that will be the beveled groove so basically grooving is the process of reducing the diameter so that will be the initial diameter and that will be the final diameters so that will be the reducing the diameter of the workpiece over a very narrow surface so that will be the surface so it is often done at the end of the thread or you can say adjacent to the shoulder to leave a small margins so basically according to my requirement of the shapes that will be performing the operation of the grooving by the square tool so it will be making a square kind of surface if you want to make a round so that will be the round groove tool is being used and if you make some angles or you can say the bevel grooves is being used for making a or you can say reducing the diameter so grooving it will be the important operations that will be performing after the threading operations next operations and that will be the parting of so once again just you can focusing on to the geometry so that will be the chuck which will be the work holding device and here it will be the work piece so that will be rotated at the axis of the rotations and here that will be the parting tool so the feed is provided against the rotating of the work piece into the perpendicular directions of the axis of the rotations so that will be the feed is providing by the parting tools 
सो बेसिकली द पार्टिंग ऑफ इज द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द कटिंग ऑफ ए वर्क पीस आफ्टर इट हैज बीन मशीन टू द डिजायर साइज एंड द सेप्स सो डेट विल बी द इफेक्टिव जॉब यू कैन से और यू कैन से यूजफुल जॉब्स और यूजफुल सेप्स सो आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग रो मटेरियल इन टू डिजायर सेप एंड साइज सो डेट विल बी यूज फॉर कटिंग ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर जॉब्स सो द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व द रोटेटिंग ऑफ द वर्क पीस ऑन टू द चक्स और यू कैन से फैस्ट प्लेट्स एट द हाफ ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलरली टर्निंग एंड फिडिंग बाय द नैरो पार्टिंग टूल्स and that will be perpendicular to the lathe axis just you can see so after providing the feed up to this so that will be the removed component or you can say required components so that will be performing by the parting of operations after that that will be one more operations and that will be the drilling operations so the drilling operations it will be performing on to the lathe machines so similar kind of arrangement as you can see the chuck either three jo or four jo and work piece it will be hold into the chuck so the work piece is being rotated and and the another end that will be the tail stock end so that will be the holding of the drill tool so here drill tool is being fixed or you can say hold into the tail stocks and feed that will be providing by the tail stocks at the another end so what happens it is an operation of making a hole into the work piece with the help of drill so the work piece is held into the chuck and the drill is held into the tail stock so drill is fed manually into the rotating of the work piece so by the slow feed this drill that will be inserting into the work piece and that will be making an hole into the work piece materials so if you want to make the hole into the work piece so you can also performing the drilling operations onto the lathe machines after drilling operations that will be the boring so boring operations just you can see over here so that will be the work piece and boring operations that will be only used for existing hole or you can say enlarging the existing holes so that will be the tool post and that will be considering as a boring tool holder so boring tool that will be inserting into exist hole so that will be used for enlarging the diameter of the work piece if you are using the rimming tool instead of the boring tool so here just changing the rimming tool so basically rimming tool that will be used for making an surface finish operations operations for the internal surfaces only so for making a finish internal surface of that particular existing hole so you can use the rimming operations so these all are regarding to the lathe machine operations according to my requirements i would like to select and it will be performing on to our lathe machines so i hope so if you enjoying so then subscribe and share thank you very much